Your people will rebuild the ancient ruins and will raise up the age-old foundations. You will be called repairer of broken walls, restorer of streets with dwellings. Isaiah 58, 12, NIV. Welcome to Outreach Connection, focusing on topics and issues that reach our communities with the love and power of Jesus Christ. Welcome, my friends, to an exciting episode of the Outreach Connection. I tell you, usually our connection is local. Today, we are traveling all the way around the world to Africa, one of the most forgotten of all of our allies, our friends, our nations, and the whole continent. It is so diverse from north to south. My husband and I have only traveled in about 14 of the South Africa regions and three in North Africa. But we avoided that middle area. Didn't want to go to the Congo, didn't want to go to Sudan, didn't want to go to Ethiopia. No, go where the tourists go. Mm -hmm. No more. God said, Whosoever hath this world's good, and seeth his brother hath need, and he hath not compassion, how dwelleth God's love? Love not in word, but in truth and wow. in deed. So today we're here to let you be a part of this. Do you want to go? If you're saying no, then God says you are called to be ambassadors for Christ. You are called to be a part of the Great Commission. And if you can't go, then you must help send. We have one lady here with us who's put her faith to the feet. And we have a young man with her that is one of God's heroes, one of God's chosen special vessels. So I'm going to start with my introduction to our friend Dixie Cook and she can explain how we're going to do this. I, I have talked with our friend and he's got good English. I didn't tell him I'm an English teacher. Uh oh. <laughs> Professor the English. Oh. <laughs> Dixie, we're lightening this up because this is a heavy subject. God bless you and thank you. <laughs> Just last week I had someone correct my English. So. <laughs> me too, me too. <laughs> so anyway, well, we, we are the group called Children Are People. Yes. And um, we started our, our organization in 2008. I yes. had traveled to <clears throat> Africa several times. And in 2004, I met Pastor John, who was in Bible school at the time. And uh, we became friends, emailed back and forth. And he was married to a Kenyan woman, and we began to learn more about him and his ministry. So we visited him in 2007, and in 2008 we started Children Are People because the team that went with me said, we have to do something. Mm -hmm. So that's how we got started. And we have to do something. We have to do something. We either go or we give. We can pray. Yeah. We may have a widow's mite to give. Yeah. But Pastor John, thank you, my brother, for being with us today. Thank you, my sister. You, first of all, you couldn't even begin to tell, even in a full-length movie, what your life has been like. But try from the beginning as yeah. a little boy. Well, uh, I'm called John Akumwet Garan. Oh, my life has begun in 1987. Your life began in 87. 1987. As a lost boy, the, when the war began in 1983, so we get ourselves in the war. Where were you? I was in Sudan. And live, you were born there? That is the place I'm born. Yeah. That is where my mother is. And my mother, she's a one ramen in that place. My father died in 1985. Wow. Uh, my brothers three die one day. They drop they drop the bomb inside the house. And 1983, I left all the 20,000 20, children. We walk from Bor 
from Sudan to Ethiopia. Most Americans have heard of the lost boys of Sudan. Most of us have heard of the ridiculous genocide that has been taking place that America and other countries have just, for whatever reason, closed an ear and closed the wallet to. I'm speaking slowly because I don't know if Pastor John can understand me, but I do know that we need to hear his story because he led many of these children out. But your brothers were killed. Where did you think you were going when you were Yeah, they, they told us to go to school because the Sudan has been ruled by Muslim. Yes. And no Christian. So they told us we are going to school to Ethiopia because no school, nothing. So they told us we are going to land and we worked there for six months. Six months you led a group of how many? 20,000 children. 20,000 children from your native Sudan yeah. through desert, through no, times of right. no, no food. No food. Nothing and nothing. What did you do for food? Yeah, they given us a few soldiers who were there and they shoot some animal, the gazelle and... So you had to kill your own food, find yeah, it? Yeah, no food. What about for water? The water, the, we, we try to carry the water and it has been very hard. <sighs> you know, it has been very hard for us. But you are here for a reason, yeah. for a purpose. God has been so faithful to us. He has. Yeah. So let's back it up again now. You're walking, you're leading thousands upon thousands. You don't have any idea how many died along the way. Oh, many of them died. They try to thinking about how their mother bring food mm -hmm. because they get themselves in the desert. No food. No food. So they're thinking other they call the name of their mother. Like I, if I call now my mother, oh. Dixie, and then they die, they change the eye. Oh. And we don't know how to bury them. So we're looking where the, the river is, where there is soil. We dig the soil and we leave them there. You had to. Yeah. Were you a Christian at that time? Oh, we had been raised up in Episcopal Church. In the Episcopal Church? Yeah, that is Even where. in all of the surroundings it, being Muslim? Yeah. We had been raised up there. While we are still young, we go to church because okay. our father is going to church. Mm. Every morning we go to Sunday school. Oh. But we didn't make a, I didn't make a decision the way I make decision right now. Yes. Yeah. You knew who Jesus was. Yes. I but used you to, didn't have him as I used said. to carry my cross. They, yeah. they make a cross of the tree, the yeah. smallest tree, cross and the Gideon Bible. Yes. And that time we don't know how to read it, but we carry it. Did, Did you memorize some scripture? Like yes, that? like 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 John 17. I memorize in my mother tongue. <gasps> they say in That is John 16, 3. And John 3:16. John 3:16. John 3:16. Yeah. Now say it once more in your native tongue. Okay. I want to hear it again. For God, yes. say, repeat in your language, just a little bit of the first. Okay. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son. Now, this is going to be broadcast all over the world on the internet. Mm -hmm. And if someone in the Sudan is listening, yeah. what does it mean God loved the world so much? Yes that he sent his only begotten son, that yeah. whosoever shall believeth in him yeah. shall have eternal life. Tell him what that means. Look right at that camera. They need to have the internal life. Yes. Because God loves us. Yes. Mm -hmm. If only you could have told that to all of those boys following you. But I believe God was covering you, and now you have an opportunity to save even more. Yes. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Yes. So you walked on and on and on, thinking you're going to the school. To school. the school, yeah. Right. When we read there, you know, we across the river, and the river is full with crocodile. 
and you had to walk through the crocodiles we, in the we, river to we, get to Ethiopia. You know, yeah, yes. when we are near the, the river, the crocodile will run away. <gasps> and when we are going inside the river, we don't see the crocodile. The crocodile will come and beat the children with the tail. Oh no. When we reach inside the river that we try to swim. And it has been very hard. When you go out, it's good, you know, for uh -huh. say. We, we encourage them, Paul say, if we live, we live to the Lord. Wow. If we die, we die to the Lord. Whether we live or we die, we belong to the Lord. That is amazing. So, you really had uh, your faith tested. Uh, what about... many died in the river. Oh, many died. Of course they did. What, I was thinking, what were the youngest that were following? Oh, the youngest, we, what we do, we hook out together. And carry. The big boys, they will hook together and we will fool each other. Oh. So because the water cannot move us, even when the crocodile can take him, oh. the others will hold it. So we hold it together. We oh. work for unity and equality and progressive. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. What ages? How old were the oh, children? From there, that is six years. That time I'm 12 years. You were 12? Um, I was 12 years. And the, from the, the little one, the six years, seven years, eight years, up to 18 years. We have seen, of course, stories, movies, articles, yeah. details we've read, right. but no one knows yeah. except those that made it through. Right. How many now do you think came out on the other side? Oh, they came, but that time, you know, we cannot know the number. Okay. The, and what did you find when you got to Ethiopia? When we got to Ethiopia, they chewed the big boys the, the big boys, the, the big boys mm -hmm. in us, they take them for the training. And that's where you the thought army. you were going to school, yeah. but you were going really to, to, the, to the training, the to the training military. for the army. And yes. you had to learn how to kill. You have to learn how to kill. You have to learn how to defend yourself. Yes. You have, you have to learn how to get your own food. Yes. You have to learn where you can live. And you have to obey whatever they say. The, the language of the military, they say, order from above. Order from above. Well, you had other orders from <laughs> above. <laughs> yes, I think so. And we're putting on the screen um, yeah. information because we want those of you who would like to go, contact. If you can't go, I, I beseech you to give and to send because this isn't about anything except saving lost young men, young women in Jesus name. So as you're looking at this information, I think we have the information. Maybe we don't have the information. Okay, well we'll find the information. <laughs> there it is. Okay, there it is. Um, and if they would like for you, or maybe you can tell us this too, how could we get in touch with him if he would, could come and speak to some of the... Well, this is Pastor John's first time in the U.S. Yes. He will be here for a few, a couple of more weeks. Okay. And this time. This time. Right. And he is, he is scheduled. Um, next week we'll visit the Lost Boys in Chicago. Yes. But we have a few dates next week. Um, after that, he'll go back to Mississippi, where a large group of pastors are calling mm. my number for him to speak. Mm. So, um, you know, I'm willing to come to the churches to bring John. We may have to wait till the next time mm -hmm. when he comes back to okay. the U.S. So yeah. this would help us right now to be able to help him with funds and money mm -hmm. to get home, come back, yes. and then minister to raise more money. Because yes. right now there is an, uh, what, a children's home yeah. in Kenya. Yes. yes. And your wife is still there. Yeah, my wife is still there. Do you miss her? I miss her with my son, you know. <laughs> How old's your son? I two sons. Two, two children. My daughter, she's called Shalom. Oh, daughter named Shalom. And my son is called Israel. Israel, Israel and yeah. Shalom. Uh, <gasps> How timely is that right yeah. now yeah. in this final hours of yes. the tick, tick, tick in the world? You know, you know, when we are in Sudan, the, the Muslims, they say, you can go to all the world, but you cannot go to Israel. So, and God, God didn't give us any limit. So I call my son to be Israel. <laughs> that opens it right there. Yeah, they will call him he's Israel and he's a happy boy. Mm -hmm. He has six months now. Oh my. Yes.
What does God have planned for him? Oh. He may be Israel in Israel, and if ever we are in the midst of a time right now with you know the elections, the turmoil, the uprisings, the anti-American issues going on across the world, we have to understand the importance of Israel, this yeah. one little tiny place, yeah. and the importance of one little tiny boy named Israel. Yeah. God so loved the world, oh, no. he yeah. gave his son yeah. so that your son, Israel, yeah, my daughter, and your daughter uh, is how old? Is four years and four eight years. months. Okay. You know, I call her Shalom. Yes. Because I stopped landmine, I didn't know I will I will marry. And God sent me in landmine in this leg. And so it's oh There's many landmines. Can you zoom in on this leg yeah. here by any chance? I don't know if they can see that or yeah. not. Oh, this is a leg with a landmine. Yes, a landmine. And so when God have so love in my life, wow. He given me a wife and God given yes. me a daughter. So yes. I call my daughter. Shalom. Shalom, peace. Mm -hmm. and, and that is the time God given us our peace in, in Sudan. So she's a president of Sudan. She will be a peacemaker. Oh. That is what I desire for her. <laughs> I love it. And let me ask you this. Yes. Have you ever thought this scar is like the one in his hand? I never thought but God has so love in my life. Yes, mm -hmm. and you can show your scar Amen. for what he has allowed you to do. Amen. And many of us have scars that you can't see, right. but God has taken us through the fire, through yes. the waters. Yeah. Yeah. No crocodile, but right. <laughs> did you eat crocodile? No. No? I eat elephant, you know, when we, oh, are, yeah. when we are in... When we are in Ethiopia, that is 1991. Okay, so 91, you got to Ethiopia. Yeah. And then how long did you have to serve under I that? I served for 14 good years in Fourteen. Army. 14. <gasps> and did army. you have the strong faith through all that time that God was still with you? Yeah, until God got me on the way. But you couldn't speak of Jesus. Yeah, I... I you pretended to be Muslim. Yeah, I pretended to be yeah. Muslim because that is what they do. Yes. But we have a zeal. We, we carry our cross. Yes. We carry our Bible, the yes. Gideons. You just didn't let them see it. Yeah. What would have happened if they had found out? Yeah, they cannot found it because we run away, so they are not near with us. <sighs> yeah. Let me ask you this, because we have people that are watching, many of us from America. Right. We hear the word Muslim. They're terrorists. There's no good in Muslims. We couldn't possibly, possibly bring them to Christ. Right. Is that a lie? That's not the truth. Yeah, they can come to Christ, you know. But how can we be the witness that brings them? You have certainly been a, a witness to many yeah, Muslims, yeah. haven't you? Yeah, we... They don't allow us to speak to them. Right. If they allow us to speak to them, you know the Bible say, the word of God is the sword of his spirit. Good. He can break every yoke. There yes. is a power behind the word of God. Yes. So every time they, they close their ears, did you see them? Maybe they are not here in America. Yes. But in South Sudan or in Sudan, yes. they close their ears. Yes. Mean that their children cannot hear right. the word of God from the other people. That's right. So the problem, they don't allow people to talk to them. And if they allow us to talk to them, God... The word of God is power. He breaks them and he can, he can restore them to the kingdom of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. There are some that were raised Muslim. Many, many of us were raised Christian but didn't do anything but sit in the church pews. And we didn't know. There are some Muslim that are Muslim because that's what their families were. That's right. right. But God is going to use you Amen. to reach across the Amen. aisles. Amen. And you will bring in Amen. those Perhaps even, you know, you, you'll, you might have a ministry in Israel. Who knows? Yeah. Oh, no. I, <laughs> Who knows? God knows. Iraq, Iran, Sudan. Amen. <laughs> we were recently in um, Morocco. Yeah. Casablanca has a huge mosque, um, second biggest in the world. Wow. And the men were praying. The women stood behind these things looking through holes with yes. their burqa. Uh -huh. I had tracks in um, Arabic. Arabic. 
Right, Arabic, yeah. All right, and stuck them in the holes yes. that said, Allah yes. wants you to hear this. That is Allah, that is God great. <laughs> but when they read this in Arabic and says, Ar is it Arabic? Ar yeah, Arabic, yeah. yeah. Um, God, um, Allah wants you to read this. They yeah. go, thank you, thank you. I have pictures with people there saying, thank you. And you open it up. <laughs> have you thought about writing a track, your own? Yeah. Book two. <coughs> yes. Okay. We got to get these out. We mm -hmm. have to get the word out too. Yeah. What can America do for you? What can we do right now? Yeah, right Put now. Put your hat on and tell us. <laughs> your favorite hat. <laughs> now bend your head down and let's yeah. get a zoom in on this. <coughs> Here's a yeah. sip oh. of water for okay. you. Thank okay. You. And as we're looking at this, this is a young man that was raised in the Sudan that should have died, that could have still been in the militia, that could have still been forcing, being forced to kill, to steal, to destroy. That sounds like John 10.10 10 that says, yeah. the thief comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But I have come that you might have life and have it abundantly. Yes. So our buddy now, Pastor John, has life abundantly and he's sharing it. Bend your head down a little bit so we can <laughs> see this. Zoom in on that a little bit more, can you, Mike? I don't know if that can zoom in or not, but it says USA. It's got a picture of the eagle. There you go. Why is it that you love the emblem of the eagle so much? Um, the eagle is, is inside the Bible. I yes. love it so much. Uh -huh. he, Isaiah 40. Isaiah 40, we, the ego renew is strange every yes. day. The feathers can go away and ego can, the new feathers can come. So that is the reason I love That's it. That's good. You can take it off now. So. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> One other thing about an eagle, it flies above and gets above and above and above, above. and soars. Oh, yeah. You're doing the very same thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What is something that is important for us to know, Dixie? Anything that I am not asking him that we need to uh, know? What they need to know before Father Dixie talks. Yes. What they need to know, um, my desire, my vision, we need to rebuild our nation. Yes. For all the lost boys who came yes. to the United States. Yes. We need to rebuild our nation because God given us now Southern Sudan is a one year old nation. One year old nation now, Southern Sudan. But nobody can build it now because kill our people. Right. 2.5 die. Mm. So what I want to give them, we need to, to rebuild our nation. Okay. Jeremiah, Nehemiah build. Yes, Nehemiah. Nehemiah did, yeah, did you see our opening? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just happened to say okay. the rebuilder of the. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, that is my desire. Yes. We need to build a school there. Our yes. The children coming behind, the, we don't want them to pass through the difficulties we pass there. Yeah. We need to teach them for the word of God. Because the Bible says, the heaven and earth will be rolled away, and the word of God will never pass away. Will never pass away, Ma. Yeah. Where is Oprah when you need her? <laughs> you know Oprah? Oprah Winfrey? I don't know. Yay! He's a godly man. I'm just teasing. No. She is a famous, the richest woman in America. Yeah. Um, she's, she speaks openly about being African American. Right. And she built schools, huge schools in South Africa. Wow. Yeah. She needs to help with the yeah. Sudan. Amen. Maybe so, we'll contact her. So that is, <laughs> that is my desire. Okay. We need the hospital. We need the school. We need the church. Yes. We need these, these three, because yes. now no hospital people there. Right. No people, they don't hear the word of God because they're still fearing. Before sure the they Muslim, they bomb the, ha they bomb the churches. Mm -hmm. People don't go to church, they didn't. You were afraid? Yeah, they're afraid, of course. That is problem, but we want to teach them. Mm -hmm. So I want to tell the, all the lost boys. Okay. We are no longer the lost boy. God already found us. Yes, that's <laughs> good. And we want God to use us the way we are. I love that. No longer lost. We once were lost. Yeah. But now we're found. Yeah, we are found now, Mom. Yeah. We used to be. Yeah. Blind. Oh. 
But now we have seen the light. So we're going to appeal to them and go ahead, Dixie. All right, the you... scripture that you have yes. right on the, at the very beginning of, of the show describes what Pastor John's talking about. Wow. Those from among you, and this is Isaiah 58, 12. Those from among you shall build the old wasted places. Yes. You shall raise up the foundations of many generations, and you shall be called repairer of the breach and the restorer of the streets to dwell in. There's no roads in Sudan. There's no hospitals. There's no um, schools. Even the homes, many of them have been burned and destroyed. Mm. Children were put into churches and the churches then were burned and they would flee and they would go into the bush. And these children, we are trying to rescue them and to give them five basic needs. Food, shelter, clothing, schooling, and medical care. With God's help, we have done that for these 117 yes. children. Who are now in Kenya. Yeah. They are now yeah. in Kenya where they can live and have the care that they need. And um, we first drilled the water well because you can't live right. very long without water. They were sick all the time because of the typhoid, etc. We we built the we drilled the water well. Then we built the children's home, but the children's home that we built only holds 40 of the children. Oh, so we need to Lord build bigger. Us. And then there's hundreds waiting to come. Mm. When Pastor John goes to Sudan, they line up, thinking he's going to bring them back. Mm. Our heart breaks. So not only do we want to est um, establish Kenya and make it stronger for caring for the children, we want to go into southern Sudan wow. and build the school, the church, thank you, Lord, and the children's home there. Yes. So it's double faceted: Kenya and Sudan. Eventually. When the time is right, they can leave Kenya and go back to Sudan. Mm. And I pray it's in my lifetime. I want to see it. Yes. <laughs> and if not, you'll become part of Hebrews 11, <laughs> where you get to know it. From. The, uh, we're running out of time. The okay. number, the address, and everything is on there. We have one minute left. What did we not say that needs to be said? Yeah. Anything that we didn't cover? or say? What would you like to say in one minute? Uh, one minute, what I would, would like to say? Let the America pray for South Sudan. Let the Sudan, Southern Sudan be strong, yes. be a nation with God yes. love. Yes. And we'll not only pray that, but friends, we ask you to please consider giving. See if you can find in your heart, even if it's one dollar in Sudan, ten dollars in Sudan, a hundred dollars would make all the difference in the world. Yes. yes. Father, we thank you that we yes. can come together as brothers and sisters yes. in Christ and that we can know thank that you. this is your divine purpose, your plan. Yes. We cover Pastor John. We cover his beautiful wife. We yes. thank you for Dixie, yes. for the yes. work of this ministry. Yes. Lord, forgive us for turning a blind eye. Yes. For t forgive us, Lord, for saying, oh, we're sorry, you're hungry. Go yes. and be fed. Yes. Father, forgive us and yes. help us now to be a part of the answer. Your solution from the beginning, the Great Commission, yes. brings souls into the kingdom. And thank you, Lord, for bringing these children, these lost boys who are now found as yes. ministers in yes, Christ Jesus. Amen, amen and amen. amen. God bless you thank both. You. Thank, you so you. thank you so much. I'm Dr. Much. Pepper, shaking the salt. You've been watching Outreach Connection. If you would like to contact this ministry, you may write Outreach Connection, Care of CTN, WTJR, 222 North 6th Street, Quincy, Illinois, 62. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night. Psalm chapter 92, verses 1 and 2. Today's encouraging word has been brought to you by your friends at the Christian Television Network. By the truckloads.